so hello my beautiful followers and viewers welcome back again to my youtube channel in this channel what we do is that whenever we get um a vital information concerning celebrity or politics update we tend to bring them down so that we both can share you know, our opinion concerning that particular topic so after people will be condemned in the canals release sorry after people be demanded in the can release you understand so court makes shocking announcements on i am indigenous people of biafra leader fair fight suit so this is what i'm here this is the topic we are here to treat and i believe this is the topic that attracted you to this video so as we are saying you know the a federal court in Abuja has dismissed a naira 1 billion fundamental human rights lawsuit filed by Namdi Kano. Understand? And um, as we're saying, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, which they are referring as Namdi Kano, against the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Attorney General of the Federation, and the Department of State of Service, which is the DSS, the suits alleged violation of Kano's rights during his detention and legal proceedings. And we all know that Namdi Kano has been in the hand of the DSS for over three years, where many top politicians have come out to speak and, you know, beg for his release, that they should even grant him bail if they don't want to release him um, for free. And um, Namdi Kano, a prominent um, separatist leader, has been a contentious figure in Nigeria advocating for the independence of Biafra from Nigeria. You know, all these people fighting to see that Namdi Kano is actually released from the hands of the DSS. They believe strongly that Namdi Kano is a freedom fighter. Yes, and, and they are trying to tell the federal government that the, the allegation they fight against him for participating in terrorism acts in the southeast or even somewhere in the east is not true. That Namdi Kano is truly a freedom fighter. So Namdi Kano's lawsuit identifies as FHC slash CS slash 1633 slash 2003 was grounded in accusation that the DSS under its director general impeded his right to fear hearing. Kano claimed that the security agency obstructed his legal team from having um this access to him, thereby hindering the preparation for his defense in his ongoing criminal trial. You know, once the one thing I usually understand about politics is that politics is a very, very smart game. You understand? If you want to go into politics, you have to be very, very smart and understand that not everybody who smile against you love you that's one rule of politics you might somebody might snap with you hold you and when you find out that what makes you lose this what is happening to you is that same thing the person is now going to come out to speak that this is why i did so the problem the can is having here is that there is a particular person which have not been reviewed that is having serious um information being leaked about in america that's why if you see the kind of preparation it always go wrong you understand it, it, it doesn't even hit in the court after nam the kind of wait for month month when he appear in the court he's not going to be you know you will not feel that much preparation and you will not like i don't know how to put it like you will not you will not feel the heat that you know he arrived in court so interference with legal counsel nam the kind of asserted that the dss constantly obstructed his lawyers from having private and uninterrupted meeting with him can you imagine Somebody who is trying to come out from the answer DSS, they are not giving them enough privacy plan and you know to, to, to put everything together. So how do you expect that person to to present his his um his um his tactics and everything right in the um eyes of the judges and the court? It will be very, very difficult to win this kind of case. Okay, so he argued that this interference was a deliberate attempt to sabotage his defense by restricting his ability to communicate freely with his legal representative. Can you see that in the Nikano case is not like the regular regular arrest of Sowere, Emi Fele, and Sunday Ego? No, in the Nikano case is different because there are some top politicians who have ends and there are some restrictions they are imposing on Nam Kano that is not giving him the space to actually do what he actually wants. So Nam the Kano alleged that the DSS officials were disturbing or and you know they were like they are not giving them enough space to, to carry out their duty. So and he contended that such action breached his rights to privacy and constituted a severe violation of his rights to a fair hearing. So um denial of fair hearing the cumulative effect of this alleged interference, Nam Nikano claim was a violation of his fundamental human rights to a fair trial as inhering in the Nigerian constitution and international human rights law. So the case was heard by Justice James Omotosho, who meticulously 
examined the evidence presented by both parties during the proceedings now the canon legal team presented affidavits and testimonies aiming to substance substantial the claim of rights violation however the dss refu refuted this allegation maintaining that all interaction with Unamican were concluded within the bond of the law and necessary security protocols. So on Monday, that's I think yesterday, Justice Otto should deliver his judgment dismissing Unamican one billion naira suit. And it's not so the judge held that Unamican has failed to provide credible evidence to support his claim. Key points from the judgment include lack of evidence of the allegation of um this thing a vast dropping and um that just and human rights disclosure and that's all so i want you to now go to the comment section and share your opinion concerning what you think and i'll be active to reply each and every one of you in the comment section have a nice day ahead